Firstly, it's important for us to understand that traumatic events in a child's life actually changes the way that they see the world around them. Um, they start to, or can start to become very insecure. And what children are really wanting is to make sure that they understand where they belong, where they fit in with the um, family that's currently changing, where they fit in with the news that they've heard around some of these traumatic events. So what we need to do is think about the impact of trauma on each child and what it means. One of the things that we can do by preparing children is helping them and their resilience to understand that these unpredictable events do occur in life. It's not always straightforward. If we've got an opportunity to prepare children, perhaps there's a divorce in the family, over a period of time, children might be prepared to go and visit, uh, you know, daddy or mummy who are living in a different house. But when events are thrust upon children, it can be really very traumatic, both for the adults and for the child. So we need to make sure as adults, as parents, as educators, that we're actually take care of ourselves, that we actually have someone to talk to because we really want to make sure that we have good mental health and well-being because children will pick up how we're feeling and take it on board themselves. So we really need to make sure that we are caring for ourselves. I guess some of the ways that we can do it is by reducing the amount of media footage that perhaps comes into the home, particularly thinking about recent floods or fires where children might get upset, talking to children, having lots of stories, an opportunity to discuss what's gone on, how they're feeling. But one of the most important things is to acknowledge their feelings. Their feelings are real. Some children will want to talk um, or not. Some children might be very quiet and we actually think that everything's fine and in a few months time it might all come out. Children tell us how they're feeling by their behaviours so we need to be really attuned to the behaviours and any behavioural changes that are happening within um, the child's life. But lots of opportunity to reassure them that they are safe, they're secure, they belong in this family, even though the family structure might look very different now. But making sure too that you talk to the early childhood education and care service, that they have a good understanding about what's happening in the family so that they can actually talk to the children as well. When children are feeling um, calm uh, and not as traumatised as perhaps that they had first appeared, Lots of things to reassure them through natural play, the opportunities during playtime, during story time, during bath time, just to reassure them and to even go over some of the positive things that perhaps have come out of that experience. But ensuring that children's resilience is built is really an important, an important key and understanding that life is not always going to be predictable. But there again, we need to be careful and watch because we have some children who might be very sensitive and others who are not. Those ch children who appear resilient can actually find it difficult later on. So we need to reassure ourselves and also children that resilience is a process, that it's actually not a period of time, uh, it can change. So our resilience and our ability to be able to cope with that unexpected and the changes can, can change overnight. So what are the strategies that we've got that we can actually support children with?